Hi guys and welcome back to our channel, where we recap your favorite games for you. Today we will be recapping Far Cry 6, the newest installment in the Far Cry series. So without further ado, let's begin. As the story beings Anto Castillo appears standing along with Diego Castillo addressing his nation, Yarns, in his address, he says to them that, he stands in front of them upholding the truth about politicians who stole their country but now as they elected him it seems they elected a cure and a road to paradise. After this, he told them that their brilliant scientists now created Viviro which has the most effective cancer treatment. The whole world has never seen this kind of treatment in history. The medicine used for this treatment comes from the tobacco plant that is grown on their precious land. Not only this, but the fertilizer used to grow these plants is also prepared by Viviro. According to him, this will lead them toward glory and success. But it's a rule that to build a paradise requires a cost, which their enemies will never understand. So by now, true yarns are directed to grow enough Viviro so that they can heal the world and their beloved country. Upon listening to this, some people thought that it was not a road to paradise instead of it. He is bringing back slavery. As all this is going, Danny Rojas is sitting with his friends, and he seems to be concerned that his name is wrongly written on the documents. But as they are planning about drinking and parties, suddenly the whole area went into a blackout and authorities came to take people which they can use for work. But Danny and his friends choose not to surrender. The only way to get out of this place is by reaching the boat. So after crossing all hurdles and escaping from the eye of the enemy, they reach the boat which starts sailing in the water. Danny does not want to fight as he wants to survive because he had seen the worst time in the orphanage and academy both. However, unfortunately, before they can reach anywhere safe place, Anto Castillo arrives there. He said to them sarcastically that he also loves to catch fish in his childhood along with his father. The situation there got tense when a woman among them tries to oppose Anto and he kills her on the spot. At this point, everyone does not understand why Anto has so much interest in this small group of people, but the situation soon gets cleared when they got to know that Diego Castillo, the only son of Anto Castillo, is among them. He wants to escape as he does not want all this cruelty anymore. But he asks his father to let go of these people so can work for Viviro, which will help in its building. Anto left with his 13-year-old Diego, leaving all others behind in the boat. However, after leaving the boat, they made holes in the boat, which caused its drowning. When after all this is passed, Danny opens his eyes, he finds himself on a beach. After catching his breath, he looks for his friends. He finally finds his friend Lita Torres, but she complains that she is not feeling her legs because of the injury. She asks for her phone and gives it to Danny and advises her to follow the codes just like their childhood games. This will lead him to others who are present here for help. Lita said to Danny that he is the lucky one and she also tell him to find Clara as she will help him. After this, she died on the beach. As Danny looks around the beach he saw many dead bodies lying here and there. He thought about supplies that will help him to get out of there. When he approaches further he saw other soldiers looking for Clara but he killed them all. After this he meets a man who takes her to Clara. She asks if he is the only survivor of the boat. Here he indulges in an argument with all of them as he only wants to leave Yarn. Clara said to her that when tyranny is law, revolution is ordered to guard all of them. She tells her plan to Danny that they only want free elections, a chance for free expression and to free the outcasts so that they can free Yarn from Castillo. But it does not seem to be a simple plan for Danny as Castillo has a large army and advanced weapons. However, Clara and others are determined to get freedom from Castillo, and for this, they plan to launch an attack from the island to the Viviro Tobacco Plantation, so that they can destroy it and get fuel. From there they can go home, but Castillo's forces were waiting for them and got them down from 60 to 6. So now they need to get back to their base, but this island is surrounded by blockades and they don't have boats or much gear. However, they will not leave until they will not destroy the Viviro Plantation completely. Clara asks Danny to find Juan Cortez. He is the person who can make one gorilla fight like a thousand. But Danny is nervous, as he is not a gorilla, but when she promises to give food, shelter, and a boat in return, Danny agrees on her terms. On the other side, Juan Cortez appears sitting at the bar and telling the bartender that Rule 16 is a gorilla's revolution never ends as always there comes another war after the other. While they are talking, Danny reaches there to meet Cortez. He said that Clara sends him to ask for help, and he agrees to do so after killing the spy bartender, and assassin, and from this point, their revolt starts. Clara plans to attack the capital, but before this, she encourages her guerrillas. She told them that war is not won by those who are fearless, but it is won by fear and for Castillo. It is a fear that they all must be ready to die for the cause. As they get ready to attack by water, 
Castillo is busy teaching his son about loyalty toward their mission, but as always his son seems not to be pleased with his father's plans for Yarn. But as the plan proceeds, Clara thought to attack the military targets like F and D bases and other checkpoints as they are the most important ones. Now they have the plan to attack from three sides with three different groups as this will confuse their enemy and they will certainly win the battle. Danny gets the duty to gather other groups for this purpose. He meets with Yelena who asks Danny about her medicine but as he gave it to some legend she refuses to help. However, she agrees to help if Danny will liberate his fellows from a cargo ship. And in return... She will give them bullets and guns. Danny makes his way to a cargo ship and frees all of them. After this, they all gathered at Yelena's place, where she told how admirals come to their classroom and killed all her fellows one by one, and she wants to take revenge for all of them and also for people who are present here as Castillo destroys their lives' peace. When Danny gets a partner from here, they go and meet with Armano, who seems to agree that war is over only when they are free, and for now, this is not a free state. Meanwhile, the Yarn military on air an interview in which they said that there is no conflict ongoing now and warns if anyone will attack the Yarn army will face the consequences. And they are confident that their east end is secured. Meanwhile, Admiral who is a woman receives a call during which the president asks about the ongoing revolt activities and orders her to stop them otherwise she will face the consequences as there are many capable officers to take her position. This will rage Admiral's anger and she orders to increase the pace of ongoing activities. Meanwhile in Coronado prison when Castillo is walking with Mr. McKay and told him that everything is under control as they are best for fighting with these terrorists. His son Diego saw a legend behind bars. He ordered the guard to open the door so that he can have word with him. As Diego enters the prison he asks the prisoner, did he fight with Santos Espinosa in 67 revolutions? The prisoner replied that he drove a tank right through the door of the capital in the Battle of Esperanza. He was there too when they all took Diego's grandfather and he also watched them die. Upon listening to all this Diego asks why they all hate his grandfather. But according to the legend the Castillo always damages the yarn. They took their land and crops and destroyed their homes and families. They are the curse of the land and he knows that Diego will continue this all as he is also from the same bloodline. On the other side Danny and Yelena continue the revolt but one day they receive two dead bodies of their friends from Castillo and McKay. A legend gives them a motivation again to stop these Castillo and Yankee otherwise no one will ever remain safe on this land. So Danny starts attacking many important places and injured many lieutenants so that he can gather more and more information which will help him and others in liberating all outcasts. As approach further they reach Jose Castillo's base where they find out that there is a whole torture chamber filled with outcasts. Its exact location is in the south direction under the lighthouse. They decide to launch the mission in which many got injured and some lost their lives, but ultimately they all succeed. Now they are stronger against their enemies. However, due to all this instead of getting an appraisal from Anto Castillo, Jose Castillo is killed by his cousin and Anto's only successor Diego Castillo. To celebrate their victory, the young rebels organized a music event with the help of Danny. And during this Danny killed the rest enemies present there to complete his mission. On the other side, when a lady from the news asks Castillo why he is giving the medicine to all over the world except Americans. Why he is doing this to America. But Castillo replies that they have to wait for the cure just like all others are waiting around the globe. She also asks if rebels and the liberation of the outcasts are causing hurdles in it. But he only said that when people get the cure they will not care where this is coming from. While all this is going Maximus Matanzas decides to fight with liberated and by this rebels are stronger than ever before. Now there is chaos everywhere in Yarn. Castillo also receives a call from Miss Garcia. She said that she hijacked his 10 shipments of Viviro. She also killed the person who is behind this Viviro invention and Castillo announced this on camera to his people as he wants revenge. During this Danny reaches to Sean McKay so that he can kill him as he killed his friends. Danny destroys everything with a single code which leaves him with nothing. But Danny wants to kill him so he crosses all his security checkpoints and reaches his boat. McKay tries to trick him but ultimately Danny kills him with his gunfire. After the celebration, now final battle starts between the Castillo and the Liberators. Danny locates Castillo and invades there but finds Diego Castillo there. However, he left him alive as he is so sacred. Danny tries to make him realize that his father is a monster and he must leave him. But unfortunately, Castillo caught Danny. He just wants revenge for his family. So they torched him at its worst. But Diego saved him from being killed and asked his father to let him go. However, Castillo kills Clara, his son Diego, and also himself. The Liberators choose Danny as the new leader of Yarn till the free elections will be held. 
Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more great videos. We will see you in the next one.